A lot of people in the comments section asking, how do you hook up the discharge to an outdoor sump pump system to corrugated pipe? We have a bushing. It's a good question. We have a bushing, and we have to pour water on the discharge line, so just regular water. You can work the discharge line in the rubber bushing. Then that rubber bushing very easily... goes into the corrugated pipe so now usually we'll take some stainless steel screws and we'll put three of them in like the points on a triangle and it holds it don't have to worry about it now don't go to corrugated pipe right away make sure you get pumped up and out of wherever you're trying to get the water out of make sure you're uphill you stay on the inch and a half do not go to corrugated four inch until you're downhill because you don't want to be pushing all that water uphill in a bigger pipe but this is how we go from, I like the one piece schedule 40 inch and a half discharge line. I like it because it's glueless, fittingless, you know, leak proof. You don't have to worry about the joints cracking, the roots getting in at the joints, all of that, all the things that come with hard pipe. I like to have the inch and a half flex and I like to use this bushing and I like to take it to a point to where I'm finally up at the crest and I'm ready to have the water and send it uh, down, you know, towards wherever, whether it's a ditch, a river bank, a creek bank, you know, a storm drain. Once I'm to the point to where I'm done pumping this water uphill, I'll just go to four inch corrugated and send it, you know, and it's that easy guys. And then there's nothing more durable, more lasting, nothing that's stronger than solid corrugated pipe, the French Drain Man's High Octane Royal Blue, manufactured by the Boffman Tile Company. All right, let's go over a couple of beautiful, beautiful couplers in the drainage world, and we're gonna show you how to use them. How do you connect PVC pipe to corrugated? Well, we make it simpler, easier, and so much better as far as a connection than any of the other alternatives. Okay, so we have a four by four coupler. Smooth on one side, we call it the cone. See how it grabs the corrugated pipe and then it kind of hooks. So I'll show you a perfect example. So here we have that coupler, AKA the cone is what the guys call it. Four inch by four inch smooth wall. It goes inside a pop-up emitter. And what I like about this, it fits in the corrugated really nice. Now, sometimes the lawnmower messes up, you know, pop-up cover. Things do happen. Sometimes you might need to take this apart. So if there's just a ton of shingle gravel and debris, you didn't use a D-box, you're going to want this part because it actually comes off and you could easily clean it out put it back all right so let's move on okay how do you connect pvc schedule 40 to corrugated we got the answer now you're going to want this to be a forever connection pvc to corrugated usually is so we have barbs this is not coming apart okay so there's a step here you can see this is broader right here it's a lot broader why is this broader well it's also made for thin wall pvc the storm and sewer the schedule 35 so take a look at that that is up inside the one that's not as wide of a diameter. The wider diameter over here, it's not in, that's for PVC Schedule 44 inch. The thin wall, that's in this one right here. So this will fit anything PVC four inch, whether it's Schedule 40 or Schedule 35 SDR pipe. So this is a forever, this is different guys. So when you snap this in, It's not coming apart, guys. You're cutting that out. 
So that is a really, really good connection. So these are our two go-to couplers when we're connecting PVC fittings like the pop-up emitter, connecting that to corrugated. We want to use the cone because we want to be able to take that apart. If it's anything you ever want to take apart again, you want the cone. Now, the cone works best in the way that I showed you, in a pop-up emitter like that, you know, in a fitting like that. I love this barbed fitting for connecting PVC Schedule 40 pipe to corrugated. This is for 4-inch PVC to 4-inch corrugated. It ain't coming apart. It's not happening. It's a forever connection, guys, and you got to cut it off to get it off all right everybody hope this helped you out we'll put some stuff in the description you know some pop-up stuff so you can find your way to these fittings and until the next video all right in this video we're going to talk about risers for pop-ups so sometimes you know just a regular pop-up it's just not enough you know, you snap it on and you're like, boy, I need to get higher. So we have the answer. We have pop-up emitter risers that gives you two inches of lift. Now, what if you need more than two inches of lift? You stack them on top of each other like that. And there's four inches of lift. So again, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. You know, it's just a little too low. A lot of people are telling me this. So we brought in a, a riser for pop-ups, a pop-up emitter riser. You can clearly see the difference. If you need more than a couple of inches, just go ahead and keep stacking the risers, build them up to your desired height. All right, everybody. I'm gonna leave in the description a link to this riser for pop-up emitters. And hopefully this makes your DIY project that much more enjoyable. All right, I want to talk about the makeup of our cleanouts. So, I want to show all the parts that this consists of. Let's go through it really quick. We have a downspout adapter. So, this takes you from the square downspout to the round four inch pipe. We then have this Y serving as a cleanout. And we have a grate in there that pops out super easy. This is a dual wall 90 up top here to connect the downspout adapter to the cleanout assembly, the Y. We have dual wall. You can see it's smooth on the inside. It's a corrugated pipe. So when you look at this assembly, what you have is a downspout adapter to adapt to the four inch pipe. We have a piece of dual wall pipe connecting to the clean out assembly so we can easily run a camera through here or if you have to stick your shop vac in there because the 90 happens to have something that wouldn't pass through the 90. The 90 is made out of dual wall. This is Boffman Tile Company's dual wall, and this is welded by the craftsman, the tradesman, at the Boffman Tile Company in Ohio. This is our full clean-out assembly. I endorse for DIYers to buy the one with the 90 because it's so much easier to connect your pipe. Now remember, you're going to need a double bell coupler or an external snap coupler as they're called. That's what you need. You need the coupler that goes over the top of the dual wall and it'll go over the top of the single wall. It'll be a good fit and then you go ahead and you tile tape this so that no tree roots or shrub roots can get inside. And again it's made out of dual wall. Beautiful. So more than likely, anything that fits down the downspout is going to slide just like a Teflon pan. It's going to slide right through to the D-box. 
What is the D-Box? Well, let me show you. So we have that downspout tied in with this downspout. They meet right here at this junction, and this is a D-Box. D-Box is an abbreviation and short for distribution box. So we're collecting water from two directions, two different downspouts, and then we're distributing that water.